Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Hey Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat, 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 Shalom. Good Shabbos to everybody. Well, here we are, and um, we are thinking of you all, and we are wishing you all safety and well-being, and keep your spirits up, <laughs> strength of spirit, um, and, and good health. We will get through this plague, this time, and we strengthen each other through our shared community in whatever way we can do it. And um, it is good to make Shabbat. Ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 ya ba 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 Shabbos 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 Zol is ein Yiddin Shabbos. Shabbos, Zol is ein Shabbos, Zol is ein Shabbos auf der ganzen Welt. Ein Shabbos, Zol is ein Shabbos, Zol is ein Shabbos auf der ganzen Welt. Ya la 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 Next week is Yontif Pesach. Yontif, 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 Yontif. Zol is ein Yiddin, Yontif. Yontif, Zol is ein Yontif, Zol is ein Yontif auf der ganze Herwelt. Hoi, Yontif, Zol is ein Yontif. Tiff soll sein, Jan Tiff auf der ganze Herbert, ja la 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 Scheunem, 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 scheunem. Soll es eine Jüde entscheinen? Scheunem, soll es eine Scheunem, soll es ein Scheunem auf der ganzen Welt. Ein Scheunem, soll es eine Scheunem, soll es eine Scheunem auf der ganzen Welt. Ja, la 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 la, ja la 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 la, ja la 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 la, ja la 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 la. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kirishanu Bemitzvotah Nitzibonu Lehat Liknel Lehat Liknel Shel Shabbat Amen. Bo'im alachim, bo'im 
Let us praise God with this symbol of joy as we express gratitude for all the blessings of the past week, for our lives and our health, for our homes, our loved ones and friends, for the happiness that has come to us from the simple efforts and joys of everyday life. As we lift this cup, we say to each other, l'chaim, to our lives, to the health of all we love, in fact, to all of our world. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Amen Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav V'ratzav anu V'shabat kodsho b'ahava u'vratzon Hinchilanu Zikaron de Shabbat Shalom L'chaim. One of our greatest Hebrew poets of modern times was Chaim Nachman Bialik, who lived in the 19th century. And he wrote a lovely poem called Shabbat HaMalka, the Sabbath Queen, that will be sung for us in a few moments. But I want you to hear the translation. The sun on the treetops no longer is seen. Come gather to welcome the Sabbath Shabbat, our Queen. Behold her descending, the holy, the blessed, and with her the angels of peace and of rest. Draw near, draw near, and here abide. Draw near, draw near, O Sabbath bride. Peace also unto you, you angels of peace. <laughs> We continue now as we rise for the Baruchu and say together, Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach, praise Adonai to whom praise is due, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed, praise Adonai to whom praise is due now and forever. Baruchu et Adonai Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Le'olam Va'ed Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam 
אשר בדברו מעריב ערבים, בחכמה פותח שערים, ובתונה משנה עיתים, ומחליף את הזמנים. ומסדר את הכוכבים במשמרות איתם, ברקיע כרצונו. בריום ולילה גולל אור מפני חושך, וחושך מפני אור. ומעביר יום ומביא לילה, ומבדיל בין יום ובין לילה, אדוני צבאות שמו. אל חי וקיים תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני. Ha-ma'ariv aravim. We praise you, eternal God, creator of the universe, by whose laws the shadows of evening fall and the light of each new day is opened. In wisdom you have established the changes of times and seasons and ordered the ways of the stars in their heavenly courses. You are the creator of heaven and earth, the source of all life. We praise we you, praise eternal, you eternal God, God, for the for day and its work, and, and for, for the, the night, night and its rest. rest. And together, Amen. now let us proclaim the watchword of Judaism, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Eternal is our God, the Eternal God is one. Baruch Shem Kavod Machuto Le'olam Va'ed. Blessed is God's name, and His majesty, forever and ever. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Oruchem Kevod Malechuto, Le'olam Ha'ed. We join together in chanting the Ahavta. I'm going to get my talit first. And in the meantime, you can all be seated, of course. Are we ready to go? Yes, we are. The Ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, bechol levavecha, ubechol nafshecha, ubechol meotecha. Vehayu hadvarim ha'ele, asher adohi mitzavecha, hayom alivavecha. Veshinantam levavecha, Vedibatahabeitecho <laughs> Uchetatam, Amazuzo betecho, Uvisharecho. Leman tiskeru, Vasitem et comiscotai, Vitem kiloshim, Leohechem. Ani, Ayadonai Elohechem. Asher hotzeti etchem me'eres mitzrayim lihiot lachem le'elohim ani Adonai Elohechem Adonai Elohechem Emet. We read. If you have your surdur with you, read with us, and otherwise we are reading on behalf of you. Love, Love God with, with every, every heartbeat, heartbeat, with, with every, every breath, breath, with every conscious, conscious act. act. Keep, Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your, your children. children. Let, Let these mitzvot guide you along the path of life. life. May they instruct you, you in your daily tasks. tasks. Keep them, them in the, the forefront, forefront of your of vision. Your vision. Place them, them at, at the doorway, doorway of your, of your house, house, so that, that upon entering, entering or departing, or departing they remind you to live by my mitzvot, in order that you may reflect God's holiness throughout your life. 
the eternal, the eternal one, one led you, led out, you of out of Egypt, led us out of Egypt. To be your to God, be our God, the, the eternal, eternal one, one alone, alone is our God. God. Now, as we know, we are approaching Pesach, and uh, this evening actually is Shabbat Agadol, the Shabbat immediately before Passover. And so we kind of shift into Pesach mode now, and the Micha Mocha, which is sung at every service, really comes out of the story of Passover. It is the story of the successful crossing of the sea. And so let's listen now to Micha Mocha according to the Nusach, the melody chant of Passover. And you will recognize the melody because um, we will all be singing this melody, this song, as part of our, our seders, our Pesach seder. And uh, it is our voices and our song, um, and the tradition of our music, that endures and keeps us together, no matter where we dwell, <laughs> no matter together or not together this year. Bashana Haba'a together, Biyachat. Michal Mochal Bahelim Adonai Michal Mochal Nedar Bakodesh Noat Hivot Every, e every evening service, yes, um, includes a prayer called the Hashki Venu. It's a nighttime prayer in which we express the prayer that we may lie down in peace uh, with our conflicts and difficulties behind, beside us, or behind us rather, I should say, and looking forward to another day where we may arise with a new vigor and new enthusiasm and more than anything, with new hope for better days that lie ahead. Hashki Venu. Hashki Venu, Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom, Leha Amideinu, Malkeinu, Leha Grant, O oh God, that we may lie down in peace and awaken each morning to renewed life and strength. Spread over us the shelter of your peace 
Help us to order our lives <laughs> by your car. You gotta stop. The phone. We can't. Uh, somebody always has to call. <laughs> Sorry. <No doubt. laughs> oh gosh. All right, we're gonna keep, okay, keep going anyway because that's we the way it is. We live in a modern age. Let's read it together because it's such a beautiful, beautiful traditional blessing and prayer that we say. Um, my daughter and I always said this together um, at night before she was going to sleep. And then um, I will just say that, that my mom, um, the last couple of years of her life in this world, I would sit with her and um, chant Hashki Venu and, and recite it um, for her. It's a very comforting. Rabbi, join with me in reading. Now you go ahead Grant. and read it all by yourself, and I'll take care of the telephone. Okay. Grant, O oh God, that we may lie down in peace and awaken. Grant that we may awaken each morning to renewed life and strength. Spread over us the shelter of your peace, shalom. Spread over all in this world at this time in these days, the shelter of peace and protection. Help us to order our lives by your counsel, O oh God, and enable us to walk the path of righteousness. O oh God, be as a shield about us, fortifying us against hatred and war against pestilence and sorrow. We praise you, O oh God, the shelter of peace is spread over us, over all our people, Israel. Please, O oh God, over all people, over all the world, guide our going and our coming into life and peace from this time forth and forever. Let us say together, Amen. Amen. Me take just a, a few moments for silent prayer and meditation uh, for ourselves, for our dear ones, and for all who are in peril in this terrible time in our world. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, 
and enable our people Israel to be its messenger to all the world. Bless our country that it may ever be a pursuer of peace and its advocate in the Council of Nations. May contentment, contentment reign within, within our borders, borders health and, and happiness within, within our, our homes. homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and harmony among the inhabitants of all lands. Plant virtue in every soul, and may our love for you hallow every home and every heart. We praise you, O God, giver of peace. Amen. Shalom Rav, Val Yisrael lo mechah, Chasim le'olam. Join if you know the words, and if if you don't, hum along. Shalom Rav, Val Yisrael lo mechah, Chasim le'olam. Ki atahu melech Lichol ha-shalom Ki atahu melech adom Lichol ha-shalom Shalom rab al-Yisrael amcha Chasim le-olam Shalom rab al-Yisrael amcha Chasim le-olam Tasim le'olam, Tasim le'olam. Amen. As we know in our own temple and in synagogues throughout the United States and beyond, uh, on each Shabbat we pause to think of those who are ill and in need of our encouragement, our good wishes, and our prayers. The prayer is the Misha Beirach. And each of us, of course, have our own dear ones that we think of at this time. But in a much larger context, we pray for all those who are in sickness, many of whom are struggling for their lives at this very moment. And we offer the Misha, Be Be the Misha Beirach prayer. Misha Beirach. Abotenu mikor haberacha leimotenu may the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say Amen. Amen. Bless those in need of healing, with refuah shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Again, I'd like to wish you all a, a Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I realize that this is a very difficult time for us all, and uh, we wish it was past, but there's no indication that this is going to be over soon. So uh, we will carry on as best we can and trust that you're staying safe and uh, you're finding ways to be creative with the time that you have. I, I suppose that it's almost a universal feeling, probably even around the world, of helplessness, that in the midst of all this, there's so little we can do to make the situation any better, uh, other than what we are doing, which is staying at home and trying to stay safe and being careful about the things that we touch and so on and so forth. Uh, but essentially, it's it's a feeling of helplessness, and I, I want to talk about that for a while today. Um, I I don't think that we are as helpless as we might be inclined to believe, and this requires a, a little bit of explanation. 
Uh, it so happens that uh, this time of year we're in the book of Leviticus, uh, and uh, within a few weeks we're going to be at one of the best known chapters, which is chapter 19, also called the Holiness Code, which is a, an instruction as to how people should treat each other in everyday life. And that's the Torah's definition of, of holiness, of the way in which we interact with others. And the most famous line, which I'm sure you're familiar with, is simply, kemocha, love your neighbor as yourself. But there are a number of other verses that have a, a direct bearing on where we are right now. Uh, one is, lo ta'amod adam reyecha, which means, do not stand idly by the blood of, or when your, blood, when your brother bleeds, brother or sister, I should say, uh, which essentially means that if there's something we can do uh, to help a situation where someone is in distress, whether physically or otherwise, uh, we should find something we can do. Well, uh, what can we do in, in this case? Of course, uh, phone calls of reassurance are incredibly important. And I'm so indebted to our telephone tree committee who are calling all the members and will continue to do so. But I also think that there is a perhaps a more active way in which we can be involved in the few times where we perhaps uh, venture outside for one reason or another. Uh, I'm reminded of uh, something I read on uh, the news, actually saw on CNN, of an uh, English police officer, a Bobby, uh, who uh, went into a public park and there were lots of people that were lying around sunbathing and so on. And, and he really let him have it. He let him say, you know, what are you doing here? You're endangering yourselves. You're endangering untold numbers of people. Go home, go home. And uh, granted, he was a little gruff about that, but of course he's a police officer. Uh, but would we say that he was doing anything wrong? I, I don't think so. Uh, I think he was doing a lot that was really right, well within his duty. So that ra raises the question of us. And there's another line in the same Torah portion uh, that is rather blunt as well. Uh, it says, uh, definitely when you see your neighbor doing wrong, rebuke him or her and do not bear guilt because of that person. Hmm. Think about that for a moment. It's not something that we're inclined to do. In fact, we tend to veer away from uh, rebuking, that is, scolding another person. It seems rather, um, I would say, impolite and chutzpahdik. But it does apply to where we're at uh, in this particular time. Uh, when we're out and about, which I know we shouldn't do, but we do make our little trips, uh, and we see something that we think is perhaps endangering to other people, perhaps there is a, uh, a polite way, yes, polite, uh, of pointing out to the person that uh, they might want to think about what they're doing uh, in a little different way. I, I'm going to give you an example, a personal example from a few days ago, and that is that I was on my way into a very uh, quick visit to the supermarket and the fellow in front of me entering through the sliding doors uh, had a cigarette and when he entered he just threw it on the ground and uh, it was still lit as a matter of fact and I, and I, I said hey that, that's not right um, and he said hey what's it to you buddy and I said well uh, excuse me, but as long as you asked, I, I'm going to just tell you a little something. Uh, you've had that cigarette in your mouth now for a while, and you just threw it on the ground. Now, somebody is going to have to pick that, that cigarette up, and they're going to have to throw it away. Now, who knows whether you at this very moment might be infected with the coronavirus. It's entirely possible. You don't know. Uh, I don't know if you've been tested or not, but you probably are unaware and God willing, you don't have it. But if you do, that cigarette now becomes a carrier of the virus. And somebody is going to have to pick that up and dispose of it, at which time that person very likely will be exposed to that same virus. So that's really uh, why I think it's of importance to be careful, more careful than you've been, if, if you would, sir. Well, um, 
he just kept walking after that, and that's all right, but perhaps next time he'll be uh, a little more cautious. And um, I realized it was a bit of a risk on my part. It was spontaneous. I, ne I had never planned it, but I, I think it was the right thing to do. And as long as one does things of this nature in a, in a polite and considerate way, um, I think it's better for our society, and we're doing a little something uh, to help this uh, virus situation lessen in, in our own small way. So, yeah, that's the line. Uh, yes, definitely rebuke your neighbor, but don't bear guilt because of him. And ultimately, uh, let's love each other uh, as ourselves. And uh, that's my message for this uh, Shabbat. It's Shabbat Hagadol, uh, which means the Pesach, that Pesach is just around the corner. Uh, and uh, in whatever way you intend to observe uh, Pesach, I hope uh, it will bring some joy to your life. Uh, before we actually arrive at Seder night, uh, Cantor Bard and I will record some music and a few thoughts to enhance your Passover Seder. Once again, uh, Shabbat Shalom. For um, Pesach, um, which is coming up, as we said, um, just next week, Wednesday, Era Pesach for Seder. Um, and we will all be virtually connected, but just to give you a little, um, a little forspice, a little taste. The Nomar Lefana of Shira Chadasha, traditional for Pesach from Book of Psalms, from Hallel um, to Helim. And it's a song of rejoicing. We rejoice on the festivals. This is our directive. This we must do no matter what, no matter what. And um, members of the choir who might be out there now um, <laughs> listening to our Shabbat, um, so join and sing very loudly uh, because you know this song. The Nomar Lefanov, Shira Chadasha, I've got the little shaker, um, and uh, Hallelujah. And those are the words, like this. And it means, let us, let us come together, let us come before God and um, sing hallelujah, praise, 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 um, with high hopes. Rabbi, do you want to play the instrument? <laughs> Venomar fun of Shira Hadasha, Venomar fun of Shira Hadasha, Venomar fun of Shira Hadasha, Venomar fun of Shira Hadasha. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The no more fun of a shira, a dasha, the no more fun of shira, a dasha, the no more fun of a shira, a dasha, the no more fun of shira, a dasha. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. what a team what a team <laughs> And so uh, we draw the <laughs> service to a conclusion, such as it is, but as we rise for the, uh, for the Aleinu, and then remain standing for the Kaddish and closing. 
עלינו לשבח לאדון הכל, לתת גדולה ליוצר ראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הרצות, ולא שמנו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהן, וגור עלינו ככל המונם. ואנחנו קוראים ומשחבים ומודים לפני מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד, ושמו אחד. As our service is about to conclude, uh, at this time we remember those who have been taken from our world in years past, our friends, our dear ones, and especially on this Shabbat, uh, we remember those whose yort sites are observed this week. Howard Hammerman remembers Gertrude Hammerman. Dan Breitberg remembers Shirley Breitberg. David Klein remembers Benjamin Klein. Jean Ellis remembers Lynn Abowitz. Robert Hadesman remembers Donald Hadesman. And Pearl Friedman remembers Richard Scharfman as well as each of us who remember in our own hearts, our own dear ones, that we've lost in years gone by. And together we pronounce the Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabah, b'yalma divrach yirute v'yamlich malchute, b'chayei chon u'v'yomei chon, u'chayei d'chol b'et Yisrael, v'agola u'v'zman kari v'imru amein. יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ולעמי עמיה, יתברך וישתבח ויפואר ויתרומם ויתנשא, ויתהדר ויתהלל ויתהלל שמי דקודשה וריחו. לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה, תושבחתה ונחמתה דאמירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים, עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן, עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and bring comfort to all who are bereaved. And let us say אמן. Ose shalom bim ramav, we join together. Uya se shalom aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'imaru, imaru amen. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, Shalom Aleinu V'yalkal Yisrael Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu V'yalkal Yisrael Yase Shalom Yase Shalom Shalom Aleinu V'yalkal Yisrael יעשה שלום, יעשה שלום, שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל. ואמרו, And as our, our service is about to conclude, uh, I can't think of a better Jewish song and Passover song to sing than Eliyahu Hanavi, the song of Elijah the prophet, who we pray will come back soon, very soon, bringing the world peace and well-being and most of all, good health for all. Eliyahu Hanavi. Eliyahu Hanavi. Eliyahu Hanavi. 
Shabbat 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 Shabbat